Andrew, closing day of Sebring 2016. I wanted to get people an opportunity to see what you're doing with Eco because one, it's cool, two, it's small, three, it's affordable, and finally, above and beyond that, nobody's ever done that before, so let's take a look at what you're doing. Okay, thanks very much, Jim. Um, so Eco, great little two-axis autopilot with um, the ability to do also a really neat new feature in autopilot world, which we call AEP, Automatic Envelope Protection. We can keep you inside a predetermined bank angle and pitch angle envelope, as well as do the neat things with an autopilot that autopilots do. We do track hold, heading hold, GPS nav mode, and altitude hold, and all that intro prices at $1,000. Let's run through where these are being utilized, how they're being utilized, and where they're filling a niche that hasn't otherwise been filled. Sure. Um, one of the reasons we can actually do this so cost effectively is we are leveraging off-the-shelf parts. So we are using an off-the-shelf servo here that is made by Hitech. They've made some small mods to it for us, but essentially it is an off-the-shelf part. It's a waterproof servo, all metal gear, ball bearings, sealed with an IP67 rating. It's great little product. It's fast and it's light. So we're doing that and we're coupling it with a low-cost part here that is made by our friends at Level. Actually, we've partnered with Level on this product. and so. We've just been able to really keep the assembly cost down on the product. We also have a more simple installation than we typically do. Whereas typical servos, you know, have to attach into the control systems and stuff like that with heavier, bigger hardware. So we're keeping it lighter weight and stuff like that. And we'll have a more universal installation design that requires a lot less work on our part in designing those installations down the road. So that's one of the other ways we can save some money there. With Eco as an entry level to an autopilot and giving autopilot capabilities to some of the sport aircraft in the past would never have thought about it. What are some of the more creative uses you're seeing at this point and where, what limits are there at this point to this technology? Well, we don't know the limits yet. We're, uh, we're, we're pushing those and defining those every day with, it, it, like I said, a new system. So far, we have it installed mostly in RVs because that's what we have for our testbed aircraft. You know, a place where there would have never been a consideration for an autopilot before is like Jim Weeby's Be Light. We are going to install an autopilot <laughs> in a ultralight, and it's going to be a great piece of safety equipment for them. Because we've kept the weight so far down on this system and the cost, we're not adding those big hurdles to even an ultralight. Jim actually announced at this show that he will be installing this in his Ultra Cub, I believe was the one that he's gonna put that in. So we'll definitely be pushing down into the world of the more entry level, lighter weight, slower aircraft where autopilots never have been before. And that envelope protection that we've got in there is actually one of the really nice features there to help those guys out too. Andrew, closing day, Sebring 2016. Thanks for joining us at uh, Airborne and Aero TV. All right, thank you very much, appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.